We have a feel good story. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, Brett. Goes with the Always attitude. a pessimist. Okay, a New York woman Stop buys an entire toy store. An entire toy store for children, homeless children, children that live in a shelter. So she's been buying and donating uh, gifts for quite some time over the years for children for Christmas. But this year she wanted to do something quite spectacular. So she was walking past a toy store that was for rent in the West Village. She went in there and she bought the entire toy store. She bought it. Then she took all the thousands of toys. Not how only much were there the toys toy there. I don't know how much Wait. it was. It didn't specify. I don't think she wanted to give that away. So was she, I mean, if... The it's a lot of toys. Thousand. <laughs> Thousand? Oh, wow. Then she went in there and she boxed it. She wrapped them all, boxed them all, sent them out. And according to Antonio Rodriguez, who's in charge of one of the agencies, because there's a number of agencies that are going to receive these toys, um, he said, thanks to Suchman's generosity, thousands of shelter children will have at least one present to open this year for Christmas. And That's some of them crazy. will get school supplies. <sighs> Uh, boo, school uh, supply. Again, well, yeah. the pessimist. I know, I'm sorry. This is great. This is a great story. Now they can learn. Yeah, yeah Brett. <laughs> There's one kid with like a really awesome toy. Like and a the robot. Other one's like, and... I got a rubber eraser to put on the end of my pencil. <laughs> oh, somebody gets like an Optimus Prime and the other one got like, I got darts. <laughs> <laughs> darts are awesome. Darts yeah, are but like, I have darts. Yeah. 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 Throw them at the people. That's the right. Give me, your, give me your Optimus Prime. I'm throwing no, no, no. a dart at you. <laughs> I, like, uh, like, I think that's an awesome story. I mean, I, they're homeless, so obviously the fact is they're getting a present that it's just a, it's an amazing story. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. No, and that was like, so beautiful. Yeah, that reminds me of just like, I mean, obviously he wasn't homeless, but at the end of Toy Story 3 when uh, he gives the toys to the little boy because he's yeah. like, I don't need yeah. them anymore. Yes. kind of reminds me of that because it's sentimental and it, it's something that it's just meaningful and it's great. Andy yeah. grew There up should be right. more of that in the world. There should be uh, more of that. Can you imagine the, the feeling? to go and say, I'm buying all these toys and to give them away, that must be really rewarding. But that's what I love about this time of year. I think we see a lot of really heartwarming stories like this because we're always reminded that it's the season of giving. So yeah. it's great. I, I love this story and, yeah, yeah. and hopefully we'll see a lot more of it leading up to Christmas and maybe even in just life in general. Yeah, Brett, you know, I hope, you. I hope that Free. happens. Will you I do hope that, that, Brett? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, Brett, you're gonna, you're gonna buy. Watch, I'll watch all the Grace, Home Alone movies. Are you gonna buy a you know, an entire hope, toy store? It has to be a very small it. toy store. <laughs> I agree with her point, though. Like, I think that like all year around, we should be giving and be thankful for what we have. Yeah. I think like, there should be more people around, like in the world, like her. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. 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 There should be more toy stores to buy. Yes, too, that is. I was like her. That is mm -hmm. the solution. Do you guys have a memory that sticks out to you? A, a holiday memory that you guys hold near and dear to your hearts? Uh, this, this one memory is with Liam. Uh, I remember we were like five years old and we fought over like the same action figure. What was it? Do you know? It's it, like Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from Bandai. Grab the power. Worth we it. were so in like immense warfare with each other. We bit our backs. Oh, we were, yeah, we were fighting. We were like, each other. Oh my God. Actually fighting. <laughs> we were actually. Then our grandma took it away and gave it to our little cousin. Oh, oh so, so we both you know. lost out. I just remember it was Christmas Eve at our house. Our entire family gets together on Christmas Eve, and we we were always like we loved the whole Santa coming and everything. Oh, and are you talking about the one at your house? Yes. So, yes. Oh, I know. So this one. um. You know, we were playing in the to we were playing in the kids' room. It was like, we had like a, a den in my house, and then like the actual living room with all the parents hanging out. We were in the den playing with toys and stuff because we just opened all the toys from like our close family, like the aunts and uncles. So we have those toys. We were probably like building Legos, or <laughs> and we heard a knock on the roof. Oh, he's like on Rudolph. The roof? No, yeah, no, like on the roof. Yeah. yeah. And then Santa showed up, and it was, yeah, it was awesome. Who was it? Whose uncle was it? It was my grandpa. Yeah. But anyway, it was, it was the fact is, Santa showed up. It was, we were so, so happy. Weird. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? So Where's all night were you like, like Santa? We well, met he, Santa. I mean, he was there for, because I think it was, he said, like, Grandpa had to go get something for Grandma, and then Santa showed up. But we don't, we don't put two together. We're kids. Not. And it was just really meaningful because we were all little. We had, it was me and Emery. Our two little cousins, and and at that time, and they were like four or five, and we were probably seven, eight, and That's it was so just weird. nice. We have, that... we have cousins that like weren't born then. Yeah, we do. What? So <laughs> it was just really nice to just like share like a little kid like 
intuition with like not knowing what's yes. going on. It was awesome. Please keep the stories going. Let's hear some of your holiday stories in the comment section below. Big round of applause for Forever in Your Mind. Yeah. All the best of luck. Make Thank sure you, you guys check out their Christmas single December 4th. It is wrapped up for Christmas. Wrapped up for Christmas. We'll see you guys next time on Pop Sugar.